My hands are here. We're chilling. Beautiful. University suck. Suck very hard. Harder than any star. However, I studied computer engineering. We gotta cope somehow. We, we want to learn something despite how it looks like. I got a project for my computer vision class to make something, to make a project, I don't know. Like literally we come up with the idea and just do it with no help, no help. So when we have that opportunity, we want to learn something. We want to learn something that we wanted to learn anyway. And I was always fascinated by game bots. Right, because they are, they are these programming projects that feel illegal, kind of, but you're not harming anyone. <laughs> so I have an idea. Hear me out. This is a chapter. The idea. The idea is to make a chessbot that makes no sense whatsoever. Because nobody needs a chessbot. Nobody needs a chessbot. Like, we have engines already. If you want to cheat, you could, technically, but that's just no fun. Because the whole chess is about playing one-on-one -on -one with your own skill, you control everything, right? It's not a boring RPG game when you have to grind for hours and hours and boss can save you a ton of time. This is chess, like nobody needs a bot for this. So that makes no sense. That's why we're doing it. We want to learn. I want to start my journey with creating boss for games with this project. And before we begin, we should make a research on similar bots and also bots in general to, you know, learn some things. I'm recording this after I made the bot, so I'll just get you through the most important links uh, that were useful in the process. First off, Code Bullet. I remember watching this video with an auto kicker. I watched that for inspiration on how to gather data from the screen and process it and click, uh, click the mouse. And overall, just looking at how his bot looks like. Uh, so that was fun. By the way, Code Bullet. He's like on the entertainment side of YouTube. He just has a ton of fun with games and machine learning and AI and the humor. However, his last video, not a great fun to be honest. It was so much nonsense here. Like... <laughs> okay, moving on. Then I watched this video on finding a specific image on the screen of exact size. He was looking for the, for the wheat He's image. And he visualized this somehow here, which is like the map of, of the best fits. And you can see that algorithm found five places, like five best spots uh, that the image could fit in. And these are actually, yeah, the five widths. So the output is not zero or one, it's a spectrum of how good of a fit that is. And this guy also taught me how to optimize the results, because as you can see, we have these best five fits here. But in fact, these are multiple fits right here. It's not just one pixel, one exact position, it's multiple around it as well. He visualized it here. As you can see, some rectangles are thinner. It's because they are like multiple near each other multiple rectangles, right? So he taught me how to group it. That was nice. That was a useful video. Then I watched the whole series from this guy, Learn Code by Gaming, nine videos on image detection. And he goes step by step. And this taught me probably the most. He explained the stuff very well. It was nice. I enjoyed everything. I watched everything. And at the end, he even trained a model, a machine learning model to recognize the rocks, uh, which didn't Sing work super well. But, but it was real time, it was super fast. The process of training the model is not easy. So I didn't use it in my, in my bot, but it's a good thing to know for the future. It will not be my last bot. And then I made a proper research on current chess bots and what can I learn from the internet. And the internet doesn't help much. Like, what is this chess bot, tutorial bot, like, what is this? I was actually able to find some uh, some working chess bots, actually the same thing that I wanted to create, 
um, but this guy doesn't provide a, any source code or anything. He just shows that the, the ball works. And it's like, I mean, good, good for you, man, thanks. But that doesn't help in creating the thing, except his libraries that he used. Interesting, very interesting. Here's another video of like someone working bot, very nice source code. Um, nope, there's, there's, there's no source code. Um, I don't want to get into that, I guess. Then there's this. I mean, is it working? Oh, it's working. Nice. Uh, anyway, and that's a different idea, but that's not what I wanted to create. And the only useful thing I found on the topic, on the whole internet, was this guy, so small YouTuber, chess programming, who made a whole series explaining his bot. Hey, what's going on, guys? Coming against here. And this guy helped me the most explaining the stuff, the libraries, the ideas. I really learned a lot here. So uh, thanks a lot, chess programming guy. And after watching his series, I was ready. I was ready to create my own thing. And there were ups and downs, but I made it. I did it not because it was easy, but because I thought it would be easy. What is the meaning of this? What? We don't have that many squares. This is our screenshot. These are the positions. Oh. And programming is my passion, man. I'm so passionate. Nice. I'm happy. Oh, it's because I've been commanding it two times. Well, that was, that was stupid. How about now? He left me to die, man. Yo, help me. Ooh. Wait, that's that's crazy. That's not the right position. I mean, I lost anyway. Okay. Okay. But we got something. How about now? Will it still work? I moved it and it works. <laughs> Ouch. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'll make it small. My hands are here. We're chilling. Beautiful. So what the bot does, it reads the position of chess pieces on the screen. It translates it to FEN representation. Then looks for the best move, plays the best move, and waits for the opponent's turn. And you can see here, I'll stop, the, I'll stop the bot. You can see that even if I change the size of the window and pieces and placement and the whole thing, it still works. It took me a while. It took me a while. <laughs> it works. Oof. What a move. Did you see it? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And we have a checkmate. 
Very nice, very nice. The bot can also play with black pieces, but it doesn't recognize the side automatically. So it doesn't really support both perspectives uh, of like flipped board coordinates. Oh, I forgot to mention that it doesn't recognize castling rights, repetition, and possibility of en poisson, since that requires storing past positions. And that was kind of too much to implement for this project. And overall, I don't think I'm gonna work on the bot more. I want to move to something new. Uh, and one day I'm gonna make a GitHub profile and I will post it. One day, maybe. When I will not be ashamed of my lame code because I have no idea how professionals write code. Yet. Yet. And thanks for watching. Singularity is near.